Hey guys, Adam from Tear Exotics here. Um, this video is just uh, another video on uh, getting a first time breeder male to breed. Um, as you can see in here, I've got an array of gorgeous looking animals. Um, the big one wrapped around the water bowl, that's the pastel butter female. She's over 3,000 grams. Uh, the one that's moving now, so this one is an Enchi Lesser male. And of course, that's the Living Blast male in there as well. He's the proven breeder. <coughs> Excuse me, the Lesser Enchi is the uh, first time breeder. So I'm just introducing the two males with the female just to try and get some um, some uh, competition going. Um, I always monitor it. You never want to leave two males uh, alone. They can combat. Um, lots of rough and tumble. Um, which is not something I really want to do. Um, I just want to get sort of the stage before that. Where the lesser sort of thinks. Hang on a minute. You know. This is my female. Get away. I better get the job done. So I'll leave them in here. And I'll watch them. You know for 10 minutes or so. And just watch them what they're doing. Already I've already seen. The male lesser Enchi uses spurs to tickle the big girl. Um, so it's sort of working. He's getting the idea. He knows that he's got to try and win this female and try and beat, you know, the bigger lemon blast. Um, so as soon as I see some more evidence of of him actually trying to court her, I'll go ahead and take the lemon blast boy out, um, shut his tub up, turn the lights off, and check on him in the morning. Uh, I've done it with the banana fire bee, as you saw in, a, in the previous video, um, and it worked. He's already locked up with his female, um, so that seemed to do the tr you know do the trick. Different things work for different people. Um, it might not work for this animal in particular. Um, so the next thing I'll do is try a shed. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be the shed of this female. I'll, I'll put any shed of a female in there with them. Um, He's gonna feel that. He's gonna smell the pheromones off that skin, off that shed, um, and that should also get him um, in the mood for breeding. Um, so the breeding season for me so far is going really well. Um, I uh, have had a few lock ups so far. Um, my big spider female, she's already locked up with the pastel calico already, and she's messed up her tub. So she's already had a lock with the pastel calico. Um, uh, the yellow belly, she's locked up a ton of times with the yellow belly male, so hoping for some ivories out of her. That'd be really cool. Uh, Bumblebee female has locked up with the pastel calico also. If you see some uh, my early videos, I've got I oh, produced some really beautiful uh, a calibi, a calibi, a killaby calico, um, which was gorgeous. Uh, the pastel head clown, she has uh, hooked up a bunch of times um, with the male clown, um, and this pastel butter has hooked up with the banana fibre so far. Um, obviously, the goal behind this one is to try and produce blue eyed assistics, um, obviously, because the butter and the lesser gene um, are compatible, uh, just like the Mojave lesser and lesser Mojave. and butter butter and all that sort of the blue-eyed assistant complex um, so that's what I'm going for there uh, so we'll see as you can see now the there's a bit more movement in there and what I sometimes like to do is, is give one you know give a little tickle to one of them just to you see what he's doing now he's ridging up so he thinks that's the other male so he's sort of pushing me away saying get off this is my female so I like to do this to sort of agitate them into thinking you know, I better be quick. Um, so he's covering the other male now. I'll always keep an eye on them. Give the other male a little, a little tickle. As you can see, the lemon blast is is getting quite annoyed with me, and he's sort of throwing his coils at me and sort of nudging me out of the way, which is good. Which is a good sign. That's what I'd want to see. So 
So he's uh, he's checking out the other mail now. And as what you can see now, he's actually um, sort of putting his weight on top of the other male, letting him know, you know, I'm boss. This is my female, and uh, and so on. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take take him out, um, and he just goes. Funny enough, in the tub above, so I literally just take him out, plonk him back in there. And then I'll uh, let these two get out of it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, you know, they get some breeding going on. If they do, I'll of course do a part two to this video and show you the lockup. Uh, if not, then I'll keep trying this method and trying the shed method and any other method I can think of. Um, but until then, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, thanks to everyone who's subbed. Um, my next video, I'm going to try and do a shout out video, so stay tuned for that. If you have subscribed to me, um, I will try my very best to shout you out. Uh, so until then guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.